How many of you guys remember having a handkerchief pinned to your school dress when you were young? You could kind of clean your nose or wipe your face very easily with it. I grew up using handkerchiefs and I still use them. Of course, I don't pin them to my shirt now though. Handkerchiefs gave us a virtue, a virtue of patience. We would have to wash them, iron them, wash them again and then iron them again until they were worn and torn. Contrast that with face tissues which we use once and throw them away. Nothing against tissues, even I use them at times. Just talking about the attitude. When I was a young boy, my dad brought me a Reynolds pen. It was made of plastic with a white body and a blue cap. I kept using it until the cap cracked off. We had and we still have the concept of a refill. Contrast that with pens which are the use and throw ones. I remember using earthen clay pots, copper jugs, steel bottles for storing and drinking water. Contrast that with single-use plastic bottles and stuff that we use and then throw and cause environmental issues that we face today. Isn't it true, friends? And we live in a world where loads of things are use and throw. Tissues use and throw. Pens use and throw. Silver foils use and throw. Plastic bottles use and throw. And then there's a chance that we can get into that attitude where girlfriend use and throw. Boyfriend use and throw. Spouse, use and throw. Employee, use and throw. In life, we should love people and use things. But many times, we end up using people and loving things. Using them to get the things that we love so much. That's why we say that the people who were aware of the first time, they were the same. फिर लोग प्रैक्टिकल हो गए रिश्तों से फायदा निकालने लगे अब लोग प्रोफेशनल हो गए हैं फायदा हो तभी रिश्ता बनाते हैं आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट दी यूटिलिटी ऑफ एनीथिंग एट ऑल जस्ट ट्राइंग टू से दट लेट्स गेट बैक टू मीनिंगफुल कनेक्शंस इन आर रिलेशनशिप्स एंड स्मॉल थिंग्स कैन गो ए लॉन्ग वे इन हेल्पिंग अस cultivate that attitude.